Hi everyone, welcome back to Stationeers Europa, uh, Season 1, Episode 24. Now, um, it's time to put the elevators in place. I don't know how many elevators I need, so that's the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to just count up the number of floors I have and, and work it out. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Mushroom room is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. Um, I'm also going to connect it to power, so this thing's, I'm going to use this one, I'm going to turn this on. I've got 10 elevators, so I need another 5 more. So we'll get, we'll get that right now. Um, let's, this, and what I'm, I'm actually a bit concerned about the power that these are going to draw. I'm wondering if normal cables are enough, I might need to heavy cable them. Uh, we'll, we'll try it with normal power. If I blow a cable, then I'll know I need to re redo everything. And then all these are wasted. Which would be bad. One, two. Three. Four. And the last one. There we go. Five. Fifteen elevators. Okay, um... Should I move my door first? Or should I leave my door in place? Uh, where is my door? Oh, um, it's not there. It's not there. It's down, all the way down. No, that that's my door that I'm going to move to. Oh yeah, there's my door right there. Okay, let's get these elevators. Let's get a few in place anyway. I, I know I can't access the floors while the elevators are there until they're switched on. So we're going to elevate a level. This one should open up for me. Okay, good. Every time I do that, it creates a sudden burst of pressure. I gotta be careful not to blow my my, my walls out. Um, elevator here. That's fine. This is um, gonna be a shaft here. So elevator shaft. Oh, come on, let me in. Now I think I need to get up a level. Oops, let's um, put a level there. It's a little bit disturbing. I have to go out this door, so um, that can be a level. I'll put that there. No, let's not. Let's not. Let's just leave this. We'll put the rest of the levels in last. Let's get outside and let's see how this is going to cable up, how it's going to work. Two things I'm worried about now. Uh, one is, uh, do I blow a cable? And two, um, every time I put an elevator down, I increase the pressure of the base. So I don't want to blow out walls or windows in particular. So I'm going to have to um, keep an eye on that pressure and see what happens. Okay, and let's... Oh, I can't get down here. This is the main spine of the elevator, but I'm going to need to clear away some, some of this ice. Some of this dirt down here. Just, just get this cleared away. Yeah. Okay. That, that'll do. So, how do these actually hook up? Let's, let's have a look. So, we're going to have one that goes like that, and then we're going to have a straight cable, and then another one that hooks up. So it's basically curve, space, curve, space, curve, space, curve. Okay, so we'll just uh, continue that pattern all the way. Ah, running into bits of ice there. I need to get rid of that oxide. Space, curve, space, curve. And I kind of want to just continue this all the way. Space, curve, space, curve. I think it'll be quicker if I do it this way. Get all those curvy bits in place first. And hopefully when I put the elevators in, they'll just fit straight into the... Um, they'll fit straight into the cables. What level is this? Logic level? I 
God, how much, high, how much higher do I have to go? Okay, that'll be the last one up there. Well, not the last one. I want um, curve, curve, and this one. It'll be easier if I do this first and curve down like that. And let's get the right tool in hand. No, no. Oh, gosh. Why does it do that? Okay, so this is going to be the thing. I don't think I'm breaking my rule. I mean, I'm, these cables are kind of jutting out of the 3x3 three three area, but I mean, I, I don't know how else I'm going to do it otherwise. I mean, I've got solar panels, like, jutting out a lot further than these cables, so it's fine. I did say I can put things on the sides. I'm going to count this as me putting cables on the sides of the building. Otherwise, I'd have to have my, my elevator inside, like, down the center or something, which would be crazy. Yeah, so all these elevators all hooked up to the same level. I, I may blow a cable. I don't know. Maybe elevators don't draw power. I don't draw much power. I don't know how much they draw. We'll find out. When I, when I have the elevators all there and hooked up, if I start blowing cables, I'll know. <laughs> I hope I don't, because I really don't want to, um, uh, you know, because otherwise I've, I've built all these cables for nothing. And I'll just get wasted. Oops, there we go. Is that it? That's it? Okay, let's get to the top now. And let's connect it up to our battery. Um, this thing here, I can connect it better from underneath, probably. Um, I might just go out and around. Okay. Well, I think I just shoved one inside the building there. I'm going to have to move. I'm going to have to rip that up. The, the jetpack drift and the game jerked and everything. Oh, come on, game. Stop stop making it hard for me to do this. What? what, what? Okay, there we go. And it's all, it's all connected. And this is turned on. So when I put the elevators down, the ones at the bottom should already be powered. 74% health. i gotta, I got to keep an eye on that. I'm going to die of thirst if I'm not careful. Okay, i got 86 cables left. There's a lot more cabling that needs to be done, so... Hopefully I haven't wasted any cables. In hindsight, I shouldn't have built that many cables. I, I don't know. But we'll see. Okay, let's grab that and get inside. These things should now be connected. This, it looks like it. Yep, yeah, there we go. And this is floor number zero. Floor one. Fantastic, I love it. It's great. And this will go all the way up to this floor here. And open up. Good. It won't go any higher. Okay, we just have to put uh, the elevators in place now. So uh, this one here will be an elevator level. Whoa, did you see that? The pressure burst to pressure was over 200. That's okay for these walls. But it wouldn't be okay for the windows. Let's call the elevator up. Um, so yeah, maybe I should be sucking some pressure out of this base. I think I probably should. Um, it's easy to do. I can just, uh, turn this on and, uh, drop the pressure in this base to some degree. So I'm just pumping air out. I don't like wasting this oxygen, but, uh, yeah, let's get it down to a more suitable pressure. Bunch of air left for the base. Good. And this is this is a level, so we don't want a shaft. We want a level. Whoa! Come on, let me up. This is a level. Whoa! Look at that big pressure difference. I probably need to suck more air out of the base. What's my um, furnace? Oh gosh, I do not have enough um, heat in my furnace pipes to heat cool the rest of the space down. I'm going to head down. Let's 
get to here. Let's suck more air out. It's way too much pressure in this place. Look, it's 120 kilopascals. So we're just going to suck this base right out. Get a bunch of this, this air out of here. It'll actually make it easier to heat the base as well, because it's trying to heat less oxygen. So I'm just, I mean, it's its warm air. I don't like that I'm wasting this warm air, but uh, I'm beginning to panic because my health is at 62%. Level 6. And we can keep going. Pressure's still too much in this space. I still need to suck more out. Uh, maybe I should be sucking air into into my filtration system. I could uh, I could be heating this oxygen up. Oh, this oxygen's already hot. I'd be cooling it down, wouldn't I? Yeah, cooling oxygen, not heating it. Um, this hopefully will be okay. Oh, I've I've missed something. Is it uh, one of these? Yeah. Yeah, I missed a shaft. Okay, elevator shaft. Look at that pressure! Wow. Gotta be careful. It's fine as long as it doesn't go over like 245 or so. I won't I won't damage these walls. But I do have to be a little bit careful. Let's get this up here. 141 kilopascals. Is that just this room? What, what's the pressure downstairs? Much less. Much less again. Uh, way too much pressure in this base. Let's suck out the air again. Something I did not consider was um, placing these elevators as taking up, taking up room. Just forcing air, you know, forcing too much pressure in this base, basically. Uh, basically. Um, okay, so we'll get the the pressure down in here. We'll just let that run for a while. Negative 8 degrees. I still can't drink. It's still not warm enough in this space for me to eat and drink. I'm going to stand in this corner. Just look at the pressure for a while. I want this pressure to get down. So it's still 90 kilopascals. And every time I place an elevator, there's, it, it takes up a big chunk of room. Power low? Well, I'm right here, so let's, uh, let's deal with that at least. Um, what, what's that? Oh, there's a there's a storm outside. Okay, let's let the, the pressure equalize a little bit in our base. Still 80 kilopascals, wow. The pressure up here is much higher than down there. I'm I'm just trying to think, like the pressure in here is still very high. Okay, let's uh, let's just keep sucking this out. I'm gonna leave that one on for a while. I need to get a lot of the oxygen out of this base. It's way too much. Now, this is what I'm really worried about, these windows. They can only handle a pressure difference of 150. Uh, I don't want that one. Let's, let's just do this. Okay, let's see what happens. Will I damage my windows? There's no window here at the moment. So, uh, let's chuck an elevator down. Whoa! That's not damaged, that's not damaged. That's not damaged. Okay, that was safe. Um, now I need another level up above me. It might actually damage this window. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Elevator level. Oh. That window is fine. It's good. Let's turn this up. I'm currently sucking a lot of air out of base. I have to go and duct tape everything in a moment. 
Uh, now these are going to be elevated shafts, so let's go shaft. Whoa, that is re that is very close to reaching the the strength that these walls can handle. I I I'm I, I I mean I'm currently sucking air out of the base, but uh, yeah, it's not fast enough it seems. One more. I want level four. I'm, I'm trying to suck all the air out. It's almost a vacuum on this square. But uh, all this other air is taking its place. Um, so that's something I just didn't consider. Just something I didn't consider. Let's go up a level. Let's just keep sucking that stuff out. Pressure in the space isn't low enough. I need duct tape. Where's my iron? I got 50 grams of iron in there. So... We can make ourselves some duct tape. When the storm finishes, we need to go outside and duct tape everything. It's going to take about eight rolls or so, if, if memory serves me correct. My frame rate is suffering a little bit. From the storm, that is. Let's just stop that now. I think I've got three rolls of duct tape in one of my lockers. So, go back to level 4. Yeah, oh, i got 4 rolls of duct tape here. Oh, but one's at 25%. Okay, so when the storm ends, I have to go outside and I have to take all that duct tape with me. Okay, let, let's, um, let's turn this off now. And we'll let the, uh, the pressure in the base equalize a little bit and we'll see, see what we're left with. See, it's, uh, it's 60 kilopascals here. Level 10 we're going to. There we go. It's, it says 112 kilopascals up here. That's still nuts. 114. Is this elevator like... I'm curious. Is it actually... Not air. Is it airtight? I mean, the sides aren't, but it's possible that it's airtight. Um, okay, let's let's keep going with the elevator shafts. That was fine. Those windmills are going nuts there. I want to put an elevated shaft there, but remember there's that one cable that I placed. Whoosh, 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 gosh. Okay, what does that do? Is it going to be safe for me to place this last elevator level? I got a feeling I might start damaging these windows if I'm not careful. It's 127 kilopascals in here. There might be a burst. These can only handle 150, but the outside air is 45. So, uh, during a storm, I think it's 36. So, 186. If the pressure on this square or that square hits 186, these, uh, these windows are going to be damaged. What I might do is I might, I might send the elevator all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, 25%. So we're going all the way to the bottom. I'm hoping, because the shaft is wide open, that that might uh, allow the pressure to lower a bit up there. 24% health. And my temperature in my base is negative 7. It's still not hot enough. I can't eat and drink. Um, okay. Let's, let's fly up. Let's see what the pressure is up here. As I go higher and higher, the pressure is higher and higher. 112. It's negative 17 degrees up here. Okay, I think it might be okay for me to do this. 160. I think that's fine. Yeah, I doubt I, I damaged my windows. Oh, uh, I didn't actually drag that one. It was a click bug. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, we now have a working elevator. 
pressure in my base is hopefully will equalize over time. Um, okay, let's deal with our food and drink situation. Uh, I might need to drag the oxygen tank into the airlock um, so I can eat and drink. Oh, there we go. The, um, the storm's over. I have to go outside and duct tape, but uh, eating and drinking is my highest priority. Okay, fine. I think it's level... Level 4 is what I want. Uh, level 4 is where the airlock is. No, no, we want, we want 4. We want level 6. I think. I don't know. Is this level 6? Good. Uh, the temperature on this square, negative 4. I cannot eat and drink. This will continue to heat up, but uh, yeah, I, my furnace pipes were just not hot enough. Um, okay, plan B. Let's grab this, chuck it in my airlock really quick. Um, we're going to need some food, so we'll grab the pumpkin soup. We've got water on us, don't we? Yep. Okay. Um, this, this process is taking too long. I need more hot air. I need to do another furnace job so I can finish heating my base up. Um, the I want to get to level 4, but I can't reach the controls. There we go. Yeah, okay, get in my airlock. Unfortunately, this was the only way. My base was too cold. Suck all this out. Still 92 kilopascals in here. Um, okay, we're not going to hit that yet. I just wanted to see if I could reach it. Turn this off. Now what we'll do is we'll um, increase the pressure in here to 20 kilopascals. Negative two degrees. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I can't I can't heat this room up. My oxygen is too cold. Is there anything else I can do? Um Do I have any more tricks up my sleeve? I got one more up my sleeve. Um, I'm going to need to. I'm going to need some walls. I got six percent health. I'm very close to dying. One trick up my sleeve. One trick. Uh, where is it? Wall, plastic. This is my last hope. Level six, please. Five percent health. I'm running out of time. Running out of time. Last, last ditch effort to stay alive. There we go. Um, composite wall. Um, come on. Composite wall. Composite wall. Plastic. 3% health. Oh god, what have I done? There we go. I'm now trying to heat a much smaller square. 2% health. It's two degrees in here. Good. Open helmet. Drink. <laughs> oh god, the rubbish I just went through. Uh, my oxygen tank has been sitting in the cold for too long. That was a problem. Um, okay, that was my last ditch attempt. You see, what what's happened here is um, these uh, these radiators are now heating. They're just trying to heat the air in this two by one space rather than trying to heat the air of the entire base at once. And I knew that would get my temperature up really quickly. Ah, almost died. <laughs> oh, gosh. Silly me, silly me. Um, okay, everything's closed up. I can now reopen this. That was my, my, last, uh, my last little trick that I had ready in case everything else failed. And now the temperature's inappropriate again. Okay, I need to get furnacing. I need to get a bunch of really... Um, I've also got this heater, actually. I, don't, I could have used that. Silly me. I could have just turned this on and uh, and gotten the, the heat on this air, on this square, at least hot. Although that's not really working, is it? It's, it's heating, but very, very slowly. Um, okay, let's let's get furnacing. That was, uh, that was too close of a call. Very close call. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, so I've, I've pulled all that out of the way. You just keep equalizing with the outside temperature. What is that, 41 degrees? I can go and slap all that into my atmospheric system now. In fact, I will. I'll do that right now. Grab, grab all these gases, stick them in my atmospherics. Um, okay, where do I... Well, first let's go back down to level 4. So level 5 is my machines, level 4 is this. i got to remember which level does what. Um, I need to go outside and duct tape those solar panels as well, but um, I think living is a bit more important at this stage. I want to do a lot at once. I want to also do some furnacing. So let's go back up to... Well, let's go all the way to my atmospherics, which would be level 8, I believe. Good, good, good. Um, okay, so I want to turn these on. And what I want to do is I want to evacuate those furnace pipes. So that's going to suck all the air out of my furnace pipes. Six. Six is this room here. Um, so what's happening now is these things are being slowly evacuated. All the gases are getting pulled into my tanks, which is good. Once, uh, once all those gases are in my tanks, I can go and, uh, and fire up my furnace. Do I have anything to furnace? No, I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that volume pump running. I've got a bit of time on my sleeve. So what we'll do with that time is we'll, we'll grab some resources. We'll rush out. We'll uh, mine a few resources really quick. Gosh, I almost died. <laughs> this run almost ended. Um, it was more my carelessness than anything. Um, okay, you were useless, my friend. You you were just garbage. You, you did a terrible job. You're just too cold. I, I didn't account for the fact that my oxygen would be too cold. I, I, uh, I should make an insulated tank for my oxygen and uh, keep, keep some reserve oxygen available to me in case stuff like that happens again. Um, it is daytime out there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm missing out on sun right now. Let's let's get these these things so, uh, uh, patched up. Yep, good. That one's done. Let's get this one patched up. I get those one those ones first because they're getting the full brunt of the sun right now. Alright, now we'll do these ones. Oops, I accidentally cancelled it. Um, yeah, silly me, silly me. Okay, we need to get some super hot gases in my furnace now. That has to be done. Uh, I'm definitely going to make that steel that I've got currently sitting in my furnace. I'm not going to do it yet, though. I need to go and turn that volume pump off because I don't want these gases going straight into my tanks. I want them uh, sitting in my pipes, ready to heat my base up. Well, every game there's always one close call. Uh, that was my close call for this game. You know, on, on Vulcan it's like falling into crevices, and uh, on Venus it's it's leaving it too late to drink and eat. On this planet, yeah, I, I have a close call. It was more... It, it's something that should never have happened. I should never have, have put myself in that situation in the first place. It's kind of just playing lazy. Uh, once you're kind of set and you're okay and you're doing well, you kind of get complacent and you, you have a tendency to... Uh, not, 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 you know, to, to kind of misunderstand, mis you know, underestimate the danger. There was a danger there. There was a big danger of me dying of thirst. And um, I didn't, uh, I didn't take it seriously enough. And there'll probably be another close call, like another ten episodes from now. But uh, yeah, that was too close for comfort. Oops. I'm glad those furnace gases still had some heat in them, so I, I could actually pull off that little trick at the end there enclose myself with my radiators and my furnace pipes and heat up a room into breathable temperature just just enough for me to eat and drink 
Okay, so once I do this, uh, my wood is going down rapidly, but uh, I don't want to just do the steel and nothing else. It feels like a waste to me. So I want to get a few more, few more resources. Really, anything, you know. Well, not coal, but just about anything that I can, I can quickly uh, shove through the furnace after I've done that, um, done that steel. Now I'll grab some of these things. There we go, six will do. I just wanted a few. I don't want coal. Coal doesn't help. I think I found a gold patch over here somewhere at one point. Oh, there we go, gold. So that, that's a nice thing to run through the furnace. A bit of extra gold's always nice. Uh, I know, I'm going to be mining on screen for a little bit. It's okay. It's nice for uh, to look at the view once in a while. I'm sure you all enjoy this. Jupiter right there. The icy landscape. It's pretty cool. A pretty cool... Pardon the pun. So uh, I'm just going to dig up these. The train's not updating, which is a pain. Oh, it is now. Good. I didn't think... I've been playing this for quite some time, so I thought there'd be a good chance it, would, uh, it wouldn't it would take too long to update. We'll grab this one here. Oh, look at lots of gold. Do I need more Electrum? I, uh, should I be grabbing some silver as well and making more Electrum? I don't really know. Okay, well, I don't want a floating bit of gold right there. I might leave this bit here exposed. Some of the terrain's updating, some of it's not. Okay, come on, give me some more gold. I want more than one stack. This looks like a decent deposit here. There we go, there we go, this is good, this is good. We'll grab all of this. Power low. I should have filled my battery up before I left. It'll be okay. I can empty tools. I've, my welder battery is a large battery, so I can just empty my arc welder if, I, if I'm desperate for power. Um, okay, cool. Look at this. Lots of gold. Two stacks would be nice. Oh, I got more than two stacks. That's okay. Hey, a bunch of gold to stick in my uh, machine. Be, be great. Now, um, I might get some more iron as well. There's, there's more gold in this deposit. I did leave that bit exposed upstairs, though. Upstairs. Up here somewhere. There it is. So uh, I should be able to find more gold later down here, I hope. Let's uh, find some copper. Um, we want a copper deposit. Oh, iron. There's iron. We'll grab, we'll grab, um, we'll grab a stack of iron. While we're out here, there's my base. It's pretty cool. The Jupiter landscape looks pretty good. This terrain's not updating now. I, I do want to leave some exposed iron. I'm going to leave that stuff on the on the right hand side there. 31, 35. We'll leave that bit up there actually. 48, 50. Yeah, okay. There we go. That's oh, it's plenty of iron. Stack and a half. Good, good, good. I'm like I like that. Okay, let's just grab some copper really quick. I always want more copper. It's more iron here. Oh, silicon. I think I'm low on silicon too, so we'll grab we'll grab this. Good thing that I'm doing this during the day. Health 46%, water 43%. So I, I do need to uh, get a move on here. I, I kind of wanted to leave some of this exposed. 15 silicon is not a good amount. Um, so I'm going to be doing the steel, then I'm going to run the silicon through, then I'm going to run the two stacks of iron through, and then the rest of it will be done on gold, I guess. Um, I'm going to leave that there. I, I want to find a stack of copper really quick. That's lead over there. I know that before, from before. Massive amount of lead there. Is there no copper nearby? There's plenty of coal. I could set up another group of steel. I'm not going to bother. Um... I mean, I should really bother, but I'm not going to, because I don't, I don't want to waste time on screen mining while everyone's watching. Uh, a bit more iron in here. Let's, let's try and make up two full stacks of iron. 47, close enough. Copper. I thought there was, like, copper next to base, like in this hole here or something. Did I get it all already? I might have mined it all out. It looks like I have. Oh, there's a little bit in here. It's, uh, the train's not updating, unfortunately, so we can't really explore. I just sucked up more without even seeing what I sucked up. Come on, terrain. 
be nice to the viewers. See, if I was playing single player, I would do this. I would just pause the game. I'm going to pause it right now anyway, because I want to drink. I've been talking non-stop for 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. Terrain not updating. Ah, that's a pain. You know, normally I would just walk off and come back, and uh, it'll be updated by the time I get back. So what I have to do... Anyone else who's got a slow CPU, I'm hoping you, you kind of... You know, that kind of helps you as well. If you're if you're having trouble with terrain not updating. Okay, I've got 19 copper. It's not as much as I want. I really wanted a full stack, but uh, I, I don't want to waste time. I, I don't have time to waste anyway, digging around for it. What have I got? 32% water left, 55% health. So let's get back up to my furnace. Oh, I can't do my furnace. i got to go inside first and turn that volume pump off. Okay, let's get... It's done here. Oh, 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 what am I doing? Silly me. i got to shut the door first, and then I can evacuate this space. I'm trying to evacuate the planet and dump all the gases into the planet. <laughs> Whoosh. Okay, hopefully the pressure's equalized a bit in this space. It's pretty, pretty high. I think, what was it? Was it eight? Eight is atmospherics. Um, yep, good. And I can turn that volume pump off. I didn't check what was in my pipe, so I'm, I'm guessing it's just tiny trace amounts. It should all be gone by now. And uh, and this, I should have a lot more CO2. There we go. 3.36k. Yeah, okay. So we've got 4.84k moles. This is nowhere near capacity either. Some hot O2 there. I could also have pumped that into my base really quickly. Um, you know, quickly piped this up, attached an active vent, and pumped some hot O2 in my base. That also would have been a way to survive when I was in deep trouble a while ago. Um, that's turned off. Let's um, quickly quickly check my my pipes here. Yeah, 0.4 of a pascal. It's just trace amounts. Okay, let's go furnacing. That's my sheens. This is my airlock. Um, this needs to be moved. I don't know if I have time to move it this episode. I ran into a bit of a, a bit of a speed bump before. Up we go. Yep, I know. Uh, so I'm working on it. Oh wait, I didn't check the temperature of my base, but uh, yeah. Oh, those radiators were left on. That's gonna vacuum cool my base. That's not good. Okay, I'm in a rush here. Um, let's just chuck this in here. There's no chance of another storm hitting. Is there anything in there? No. And there's this stuff in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stick in the, the usual stuff, and then I'm going to run that through, then that through, then that through, then that, then that, then that, then that. Okay, good. Um, do you think... I, I think I should be able to do this with um, just two volatiles and one oxide. I think, I think it'll stay hot enough. One, two. We'll chuck this in. We'll... Uh, Get that pro we'll get that processed. Then we'll, uh, we'll go one. Yeah, I, I don't think I need to do this. Um, let's turn this off now. Let's get our jetpack back in case I slide off the building. That'd be bad. Um, okay, so that's going first. Okay, let's get this in here. Nothing will happen until I hit the button. Uh, silicon's going through first. Okay, we'll hit the button. Yep, there's our steel. Good. Okay, now we'll get our silicon. Good. Actually, we'll do the iron as separate ingots. Good. Oh, just in case it gets too cold. Then we'll run the copper through. There should be a lot of ingots piling up here. Yeah, they are. Okay, now we're going to shut this. 600 is the magic temperature there. Um, oh, this is done. Let's go here. As long as it stays above 600, I can get one big gold ingot. God, look at all this stuff. Come on. Oh, this one's done. Is it above 600? Yeah, easy. I thought it would be. 
Yep, good. I should be able to pull this out and get my gold. There we go, 118 gold. I got a lot of gold out of that. Um, furnace job is done. I got my 400 steel. I'm thinking of saving that for Astraloy. Now let's go in and stick that almost 400 degree temperature into my pipe system. And then I can use that to... Um, I can use all that uh, hot heat, hot heat, all that hose hot gases to uh, heat my base up. Temperature's going down rapidly, but that's probably because the radiators are radiating the temperature away. Also, I'm mixing colder gases with the hotter gases. Um, we're just going to sit here and get most of this stuff out. This is fine. This should be more than enough to heat my base. But you see the temperature's dropping dramatically. I think that's my radiators doing that job there, because I did turn off the volume pump. It's not I'm not losing any gases. There's not actually that much in there. That's why it's cooling so fast. I probably need another source of heat, believe it or not. My base is too big. I've got too much stuff in my base to heat up. Um, okay, we're just going to sit here and wait. Uh, when I get back in, this is going back in my cupboard, and this is going in my machines. I might stick this steel in the cupboard as well. I'm thinking I'm going to save that for Astraloy. Advanced Furnace is very, very close. Very, very close. Uh, now, this is just trace amounts of gases, but yeah, it should only take a few seconds at least to get that below one pascal. Oh, it's completely out. It's gone. Good. And in the end, we ended up with temperature that's dropping fast. Let's see what's what effect that's happening on my base. Hopefully I'm heating the base up enough so that I can eat and drink. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to run that heater to be honest. So I think I bit off more than I can chew with the uh, with the base expansion. Oh it's two degrees. I can eat and drink. This is a breathable atmosphere. It'll be warmer right next to my radiators as well. Eight degrees in here. On this square, 12 degrees, yeah, eating and drinking is possible. And this is cooling down rapidly. I'm going to have to run this heater, I think. Just get some extra heating in this base. It's not heating very fast. 13 degrees. Temperature dropping. Now it's rising. I don't know what's going on here. It's dropping, then rising, then dropping, and then rising. What's happening is the cool air is mixing with the hot air. Uh, I have to run this heater. I should have been running this the whole time. I probably could have worked out. Oh, wait. Where am I going? This is not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be level 5. My machines. I'll chuck that in there for now. Um, okay, we've got a lot more resources to play with. Um, we've got some iron. We've already got 40 iron in there. Let's chuck a, a bit of iron in here. 47. In case I want to make lockers or something. We've got a ton of iron in there. We'll chuck some iron in here as well. So we just spread it around. Share around a bit. Um, gold. Is it 74? It's about to be boosted greatly. And the silicon. Silicon is used for pipes. I got 93 there. And plastic. 15 there. That's good. There we go. A lot more gold. A bit more copper. Feeling good. Feeling good. Let's go back down to level 4. And let's get the duct tape back in the cupboard. I'm also going to stick the steel like in the cupboard as well. And the reason for that is I like having a nice even stack of 400. Um... Okay, let's let's deal with our battery situation. Let's get this oxygen tank somewhere better. We, we can actually go and fill our oxygen up while we're here, because we haven't done that in a long time. I should really check the temperature of this oxygen. What am I sticking in my air tank? Negative two degrees. What is my oxygen tank at? My oxygen tank is too cold. I need to heat that up. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go up to level six. I mean, I could I could stick it on this square here. Um, but yeah, negative two degree oxygen. That's bad. Um, how's my oxygen looking? Thirty eight kilopascals. It's fine. My suit oxygen is fine for now. Let's grab my oxygen tank. 
and stick it up in the warmer levels or on a warmer level okay stick it under uh, right next to these radiators here stick it there <laughs> yeah that'll do next to the heater heat up my oxygen please how's this looking negative 1.3 it's heating up let's uh, fill my suit with oxygen again it's okay can hold this in my hand and that'll heat it up can drop it on the ground that'll heat it up it's okay the temperature in here is now nice 77 degrees uh, well not nice 7 degrees it's still a bit cold but uh, it's breathable atmosphere oxygen tank is almost back to 0 degrees negative 1.4 negative 1 um, okay, I'm at the 46 minute mark. I, I'm going to be putting a stop to this episode. I never got to move my door around. Uh, I'm going to eat and drink again right now and just keep myself topped up because I'm not out of the woods yet. I kind of uh, kind of messed this up a little bit. I, I, I turned it turned out okay. I'm still alive. My oxygen I'm breathing in my oxygen tank is a little too cold, but your your suit has internal heating, so. I think it just uses up more power in your suit to heat up the oxygen to a breathable temperature. Well, that's the way I think about it anyway. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am breaking the rules and I'm, I'm breathing oxygen that's too cold. What is my suit pressure? Oh, it's because I had my helmet off. Yeah, that fills up my suit. Um, I'm just trying to get my oxygen tank to, to zero, basically. It's negative 0.3. Um, and that way, I'm at least, the very least, I'm, I'm breathing oxygen, which isn't too, too cold. I mean, it's actually, it's actually safer for me to do, do this and just breathe, breathe the seven degree oxygen. Okay, this is at zero. When it says 0.1, I'm going to put that back on. There we go, 0.1. There we go. That's fine. What's this? Negative 8. I'm just going to leave that there. Let the heater do its job. Heat the, the base up. It's going to draw this power of this battery a bit. But I need to restructure all my power and have different, like, you know, my, my power room, basically, which is up here, all the way to the top, level 14. Um, these batteries, I'm going to have cables coming down from those batteries going to different parts of my base. That's the plan anyway, so I have things on different circuits. Yeah, so this is currently powering my elevator. It seems okay. These three, three things aren't powering anything. So I'm going to have um, cables, you know, going out here, down the building, heading one way, down the building and here, heading to a different, different thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with this battery here. It probably, I'll probably send a cable along the floor and down the building and powering something else. Um, okay, everyone, I'm uh, going to put a stop to this episode. We've got the elevator working. We almost died in the process, but we've got it working. Um, it, it's all good. It's all good. Get back to level six where it's nice and warm. Also, I want to put my food away. And, uh, and yeah, we'll pick this up again next episode. Um, I've got to move that door. I've got to get that H2 combustor actually working and doing something. Um, I want to, I want to, before I power that thing up and create some super hot air I want to actually think carefully about a heat tank and where it's going to be placed which means I need to have a long think about where the advanced furnace is going to be and how I'm going to set it up am I going to do what I did with the h2 combustor and encase it in frames you know things like that I have to I have to think about that carefully I might make a floor exactly like my h2 combustor floor but for my advanced furnace so that's that's where my thoughts are right now. We'll, we'll see. It'll, it'll probably have to be up high and I'll have pipes running everywhere, but we'll see how it works out. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.